To this point, we've been focusing a bit on the Copilot icon that appears as you're either creating new content or making changes to existing content. For the next part of this course, we're actually going to be focusing on the main Copilot icon that we talked about in the beginning of the lesson, which appears on the home page on the right hand side. And this Copilot tool is going to be much more familiar to those of you who are used to using the Copilot chatbot that exists in Windows 11 um, or on your Windows devices. And this one's going to enable you to do a lot of different things like ask questions, etc. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that now. Let's jump right into it. So I'm back on my blog post here, and this is my first time writing a blog post. I'm not entirely familiar with the ins and outs of how to make a blog post engaging or relevant. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and ask Copilot for some tips and tricks. So how do we do that? I'm going to navigate over to my home tab on the right hand side. Go ahead and open up the Copilot chat bot here. And once this opens up here, you'll see that we can ask it anything about the document. It also will keep track of any of the other content that I may have asked it. So before I had asked it to summarize some aspects of the document, we'll talk about all of that a little bit later on in the video. Um, but I'm going to start a brand new topic here. Let that load up. Okay. So in this case, what I want to ask it now, because I'm not super familiar with writing blog posts, I want to ask what are some tips and tricks regarding and I want to ask it how, what are some tips and tricks we can use when it comes to writing engaging blog posts? Blog posts. So I pose my question in here, and Copilot is now going to take a look at it. It's going to work on generating some responses. And what it's essentially doing is it's pulling out from the wealth of data that it has available to it. So it's going to scour the web and it's going to find helpful articles or references that it can refer back to. And based on that, it's going to compile an answer for us. Let's take a look at what it generated. So this response is not particularly based on this document, but here are some tips and tricks for writing engaging blog posts. And it's going to provide us some of those tips here when it comes to writing a catchy headline, use visuals, writing in a conversational tone, keep it concise, etc. Now, how does this benefit us? Well, if we're doing something like creating a brand new blog post that we're not entirely experienced in, by chatting with Copilot, we can sort of use it as a coworker, a collaborator, someone that we can toss ideas back and forth. We can say, hey, what do you think of this headline? Or how can I rewrite this headline? Or like we did there, we can ask it as general information. So we're using it almost as a subject matter expert. Hey, what are the best ways to write an engaging blog post? And it's going to provide us with those answers. And what that is doing is allowing us to enhance our own learning based on the information where we may not necessarily have the time or the know-how to go search for this information on our own. By engaging with Copilot, we have access to all that data that we can now use. And now we can take that information we learned into the creative document that we're building out. So that was just one brief example. There's a ton of different questions that we can ask Copilot. And as you can see here, even when you ask one prompt or one question, it'll also provide you with some additional questions you can ask it. So say that you like that point on catchy headlines, but you're not entirely sure how to write one. We can go ahead and ask it that. Or this question I actually like a lot. All right, so we understand how to write a catchy blog post, but how do we make it visually appealing? Let's go ahead and put that question in there to Copilot, and let's see what type of response it gives us. So again, it's looking things over. It might actually give us some, based on what the document is and the question we're asking, it may even give us some suggestions based on the document it's looking at. So in this case, because we asked it a general question, it's just giving us a basic response. Again, using things like high quality image, formatting text, choosing alternative color schemes, etc. That's just one clear example of how to use the chatbot version of Copilot to enhance your own learning and also hopefully allow you to engage a bit differently with your own files and documents.